Good morning, grandkids. Well, I finally defeated Alduin again, and it wasn't pretty. But I did manage at the last there to save, uh, to uh, drink some potions, and uh, I didn't die. Parthenax then sent me on. I have to, I had to talk to the graybeards. I had to arrange a meeting with Tullius and Alfred. They both agreed to come to a meeting at High Hrothgar for a truce until we can capture this dragon in Dragon Reach and he will take me to where I need to go. <laughs> and, uh, whoa, put that away. We've stopped. This, what is it? this Teldrin is driving me crazy. The Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgar. Can you believe it? He won't shut Both his Alfred mouth. Alfred Stormcloak and General Tullius have agreed to go. I might have to kill him. Can't stand him. All right, look, let's fast travel to High Hrothgar. I, I, you can probably tell I'm a little put out. <laughs> I did not enjoy this last trying to play the game. Uh, to up to the point where I died with Alduin, I thought. And then I was gonna hit record, but it didn't work out. I'm sorry. And getting those, uh, getting the Jarl and so on to go to come to this truce, that wasn't very interesting part anyway. So I didn't start recording till here. Now we gotta talk to Arngar. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. Yes, I'm not afraid have they are. To host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength That's all I want. Bloodletting. For long enough They're for me to do what I need war. to do. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? I don't even care. Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. True. Here we are. And that's all their problems, Take your seat at not the council mine. Table. Let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. All right. These guys uh, won't keep their mouths shut. So they're going to wait out here. You're going ahead without me? Yes, I am. Suit yourself. So, and where's the other one? It? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? Where's what's You're not your name? invited here. You're not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually. Here she is. Since we were the ones. We've stopped. The what is it? Where are you? Go on ahead. I'll stand you guard. Good. Truly knows no bounds. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain, doing nothing. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse already. Sarah. You ready to get going? Baldwin must be About time. You Let's go. I want you to follow me to over we here. We know a great deal about the situation. And the Still standing here. So, you need us here if you want this council to succeed. You're someone who can get things done. I like What's that. our next move? Uh, very well. You may enter. You're going ahead without me? Yeah. Suit yourself. Want to hear him? Oh, 
Lord Wisdom, you don't really know a woman. All right, so Delphine and Esbern is going in there. Uh, they actually don't seem to belong in a making a political truce, but we'll see what happens. You guys couldn't walk any slower, could you? Or you would. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, everybody, now sit down. Everyone is here. Please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit. You insult of us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Did from here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concord. I don't see why Thalmor should be here. Delegation. You can't dictate oh, who great. I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. All right. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Oh, great. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. <sighs> What's the harm? Besides, Tullius doesn't really want her here either. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Probably. Probably needs to know I won't be pushed around. All right, agreed. And if she goes, then Ellenwyn should go. Let Talius have his way on this. He'll have to give ground later. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. Wow. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfred, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your thumbs and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. Right. There's nothing else to talk about. That's right. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons. Thank you. More. Thank you. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Yeah. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. That's not what like they're to here open for. The negotiation. Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, let's this just is watch this take place. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric. You I'll can't just, seriously. I'll just keep Talius and Ulfric in the screen. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Right. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Want in return. Wait, 
General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor. This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Oh boy. Alright. I know that Dawnstar doesn't make Ulfric happy. I mean, yeah. Ulfric happy. How about Riften? Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from He you doesn't like this either. I came here in good faith. And now it seems you help the Empire at every turn. No, I don't. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markar, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Garmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? I guess they are going to be a help being here. About nothing. While the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before mm -hmm. you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with that? If he's right about all <laughs> I like that, Alfred. Shut up. Audience. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it me. Whoa. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. All right, what? Damn right we do. You surrender for truth to us. All crazy Sid ones. Sid steps down, and then Gear of Stun resumes the Yalsha. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. Come on, Ulfric. What say you, Frick. Dragonborn? I agree the Empire should turn over Falkyrie. Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. Thank you. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Edmund will step down. And Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makar. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Ripton. Oh, yuck. Falkreath will be turned over to Ulfric, and Dengir of Stoon will return as Jarl. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, 
until the dragon menace is dealt with. That's After all I that, want. Ifric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Oops. Come on, Dalmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes. I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. Why is there a marker over remains, Esbern? How to lure have to talk a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. I'll handle you that. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? No, I haven't. Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed troll of lost gold. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has lost out. Okay. How does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when I call? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Aldrin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Okay, so what's this dragon's name? Now I'm going to get three words of a shout. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these words, gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Ord Athene, winged snow hunter. Love that name. I hope this truth gives you what you need. It won't last. All right, we got There's the word of power to call him. We know about him. What are you talking about? What's with you, Delphine? You know what? Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. Why? He deserves to die. Why? And it falls to you to kill him. Well, I'm Until not going he's to. Dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. I don't want your help. I don't want your help. I'm not killing Father Nax. How do I get out of here? Do the right thing. Father Nax deserves to die. No, he doesn't. Yes, Sarah. Are we going? Lead the way. Of course I have. What is it asking me that now There's for? something you need. You ready to get going? About time. Let's go. Oh, you're Let's such get a going. smart aleck. Now, I suppose we have to go up to, uh... Oh, there, there they are, all walking away. We've stopped. Right. What is it? Never you mind. I'll tell you what is what whenever we're ready. I'm still here. Now, speak with the leader of the Dawn Guard. What? I'm way down here. Get up here where you belong. The follow. Falling. Prepare the trap. How? Parthenax. No, I'm not going to kill Parthenax. Prepare the trap for Odaving. 
go, we go back to the reach. And I suppose we have to talk to the Jarl again. We've stopped. What is it? I could write better dialogue for a game, I swear. <laughs> there still sits poor Lydia that I won't have as my follower. What do you need? Where's I the might Jarl? Just be a servant among lords, but don't think for a moment I don't take what time my is it? Oh, he's not on the throne at this time. Morning. Seven, eight, nine. Let's give him plenty of time to get up. He probably wore himself out traveling back from that meeting. Well, he's out here waiting. Our journey's been quite rewarding so far. Hopefully you won't mind sharing the spoils. Here comes all the kids in from carousing all night or something. Gee whiz. Come on, y'all. Get your lazy bones up. Oh, that's not what I want. Where are you running off to? Give me three more hours. Where is he? Don't get too far ahead. Ah. All right. All I guess he's not coming to here. We should be taking he's up the here. To the storm there he comes. We're Man. Ready, Just say the word. I, I serve your old bulk as into this steward. Plan of yours. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Are you ready to spring the trap on the dragon? As I promised. My men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. I'm ready. Let's go trap a dragon. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'll try. I'm putting my city in your hands. Holy cow. Alright, now we have to go up back up here. Out here. We've stopped. What is it? Oh, wow. You do have a plan for luring a dragon here. No. Uh, I don't know. Where's he going? Where's he going? I want to see. We're ready when you are. Okay, you want to see the whole thing. All righty. Come here. Both of you, come here. We've stopped. What is I it? I want you to stay out of my way. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. What's our next move? And I want you to stay out of my You're way. You're going ahead without me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And keep your mouth Just shut. So. Now. What do I do? I don't know. All right, call him. Oh, I have to go out there to the edge of the thing and call him, don't I? I guess. <laughs> All right, you guys had better get out of the way. Let me get my shout. Call dragon. You. 
do have a plan for luring a dog. I'm going to try. Yeah. Oh. We're ready when you are. Don't hear that. Whoa! Whoa, he just knocked somebody. Oh! He knocked that guard off of there. Steady. Now, what am Stay I supposed down. to do? Keep under cover until it's down. A fight. I'm getting out of here. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to shout at him again? Joaquin, here I am. Oh! Stop killing him! You need to bring it down. I'll have your head. Your thumb is no match for mine. Leave him alone. Oh, my God. Get back. Get back. Can I talk to you? I was supposed to be able to talk to him, and he was supposed to walk in here after me. You do have a plan for luring a dragon here. No, yeah. I don't. What's our next move? Your next move? Is to stay back here. You're going ahead without me. Yeah. Suit yourself. And your next move. Let's get going. Is to wait back here. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Sarah. Let's get this over with. Ready when you are. All right, guys. I'm going to try this again before I start recording again. If I ever manage to get him to land and talk to him and get him in here, I'll start recording again. I'm not going to just do this and die over and over and over for the rest of the video. Go ahead and call this. So, We're ready. Save it here. And 
I will talk to you in the next one and see where I'm at by then.